explosive television. Shocking television. This is genius. What is it? Why do we have to hurry? Because the gorgeous Lisa Gibbons is here. All right, so tell... You got Lisa Gibbons to come in here? Yes. Yes, we did. <laughs> Always shocked when we have a guest. Do you know that... that well, why don't you tell Stan to call back? I will. I will. Do you know that Lisa is the fourth, the fourth guest in the last two weeks who is doing our show and then going to do the Today Show? Is that right? We're getting Today Show caliber guests. I like Lisa Gibbons because she's so hot looking. <laughs> I, I think I could have had sex with her. Yeah. Why? I'm bring her in. When I met her uh, outside the Academy Awards one time. We were doing a show. Yeah. And I think she was in the middle of being single or something. She was single for well, like ten minutes. Well, she's always sort of between husbands or boyfriends. I think she's finally found one who sticks, but yeah. I'm not sure. But she sort of made motions to it. Man, she's hot. She's the one from Entertainment Tonight. Not Mary Hart, who's a goody two shoes and looks. I don't know. I, she doesn't do anything for me, Mary Hart. Too pure, Too pure or something, yeah. But I, Lisa. Does it, huh? Yeah. I could have sex She looks with like her. a bad girl? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, uh, she is bad. She don't look like a bad girl, but she's bad. I could probably have sex with her if somebody held her down, Fred. <laughs> I'll do my Fred best. will volunteer. Right. Just you hold her. Stitches. Hey, man, I saved your life. Give me that. That's I right. I return the favor. That's right. You owe him. You owe me. You owe me big time. I don't think she's worn too much. Let me soak you in. Hold on. Oh, you're wearing pants. Oh, I wanted yeah. to see your legs. Going to the show. Mm, you're cute. God, I'd love to have some sex with you. God, I'd love to have sex with Lisa Gibbons. The girl I never could Good get. Good morning. Good morning. See, she looks like a woman. I could never get women. I always had to go with you're girls. You're a girl? fabulous woman. What are you talking about? Sorry? You're married to a, a, an incredible woman. The oh, that's right. woman. I forgot. Yeah. Oh, for a second. <laughs> I forgot for a second. Don't you mind? I love my wife, but, you know, whenever I see, you know, you've got a sweet face. Thank you, Howard. So do you. What did you do? You cut your hair. I cut my hair. I like it a little longer. Do you? How old are you now? Should I grow it for you? How old are you now? I'm old enough to have my hair cut short. Are you in your 30s or they 40s? 30s. Your 30s. <laughs> Women start getting in their 30s. They so have to start cutting their hair well, short. They, they like can't. Kathy Lee Gifford looks like an old crow now with that short yeah, hair. Yeah, you don't like not the short a good hair. hair cut no. For her. Yeah. I like it with long hair, but I like this. I mean, you got a real pretty face, so Thank you can pull off any of that stuff. Well, they say with each baby you get shorter hair. How many have you had now? Two. Two. Five and two and a half. And she's a bad girl. Don't now let why that. Why do you say that? Because she is. <laughs> she has like a Joan London appearance kind of thing, but. But a bad girl underneath. But you are a bad girl. The 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 nice girl veneer and bad girl in the heart. She dated Billy Idol. I did not date Billy Idol. Sure ever. you did. Howard, I did. It's on your date resume. It. I did. Dated date Billy Idol. Ah. Is it? Yep. That is so bad. It is not. <laughs> you had sex with Billy Idol. On. Did you have sex with Billy Idol? I never even went out with Billy Idol. Really? How did that whole thing get started? He invited me to his kid's birthday party. And you uh -huh. went? Was it a you? Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. And, and did you then, go? And then. It's true. His, his son and my daughter are the same age. Look at your lips. And they... Uh, <laughs> look at the lips and teeth. What are you looking at, Jackie? You looking at her lips or her teeth? Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I can't get a sense of your body, though, under that outfit you're wearing. It's That's like a tunic. That's why I this. Really? Yeah. But you saw her in that evening gown, the night of the Oscars, or whatever it was. What a we cleavage. Remember, remember we were outside? You don't even remember, I bet. When, it, was, it, was it two years ago? No, it was oh, many years ago. More than that. You, you were single at the time. Oh, that's a long time You were dumped ago. husband one. Yeah. And uh, I don't even remember what, where you, you were. You Maybe were, you were dating at that point, and I walked by. And you were ascending. Yeah. And you kind of... You kind of was, you were sort of, I figure if a girl says hello to me. <laughs> she isn't to you. It seemed like maybe I could get you. But you're easy to be friendly to. Yeah, but I'm not your type, right? You go for like pumpkin heads. I don't have a type. You like, like, uh, conservative guys. I don't have a type because I have a, I have. Who is your man? I have the world's greatest husband. Mm, we'll see in two years. He's I have still the world's great. greatest husband. It won't last forever. I know you. You're, fu you're on fire. Howard, you're wrong. You are on fire. <laughs> Howard, you are so... What's going to happen? This is a you girl who is on fire. Wrong. She looks, you know, she looks all American, mm -hmm. but she has dirty thoughts. Is that right? And, well, yes. can't, I, can't I have dirty thoughts about my husband? Yeah, but that's the best you need time. more than one man. Nuh-uh. <laughs> There's a sterno pot in your lap. I'm oh, telling you. <laughs> I know it. Oh, yes, Lisa. Lisa. Even Lisa's fiery. You can be, you, I will have Howard in my ears, and that's about... I can't stand Mary Hart. Oh, come I, on. I Mary's thought for a while a they were... I thought they were going to get rid of her. 
Now, right. that's a goody two shoes, like a Miss America type who like who goes around the house Very singing show prim. tunes. But you know what? Mary's Ugh. not that way. Mary has a real good sense of humor. Yeah, good but sense she's of so herself. sickeningly sweet and phony and sugary. I mean, uh, you know. That they have a new opening to entertainment tonight where they walk through talking about the stories they're going to cover. Always going somewhere in a hurry. Right. Yeah, and yeah. I've seen John Tesh do it, and he's like, you know, just got a shirt on and his collar's unbuttoned and no tie. Yeah. Mary's always perfect. Yeah. Well, <laughs> John Tesh. Always dressed John, John did it hanging from a ladder one day. <laughs> the opening for. See if they would use it. Yeah, the opening for entertainment tonight shows John Tesh working behind the scenes. Right. You know, like now he's actually he's doing relaxed. something. And then within two seconds, he has his suit and tie on. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, it's weird. But entertainment tonight's a good show. We watch it every night. Every night. Yeah, I watch but it every Mary night. But Mary Hart is always dressed exactly the same way, walking through the set, as she is on the set. And she still insists on showing off her legs, which are they're kind of chubby now. Oh, they are not. Howard. Your legs are ten times Howard, better. I can't let you trash Mary because it's not so. But you should. You should <laughs> let so. me because you, how bad do you want to anchor that show every well, day? Then you have to be out there on your own then. I, <laughs> yeah. I won't go there with you. When you're in the sack with him, he delivers the goods every time. How and if why he... do you always talk about sex? No. Oh, now I feel good. Look at your profile. Then it just became... Look at your profile. Show. Look at your eyes. They glisten. You That's wear makeup? You, guys, you have all this... Am I wearing makeup? I am. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I am. I am. Mm-hmm. You never had a nose job or anything? I never had any of that stuff. Jesus Christ. What Did a woman. You, um, I, would, I would explode on impact. <laughs> oh, you know, i got to talk to you because I've been trying to book Allison for the talk show. Oh, yeah, my, that's right. You are and my is wife. Is that right? She's been trying and, to get on. And you know what, Howard? She hasn't responded to me, and I wonder <laughs> why. Because, first of all, I... You haven't been giving her the messages, I have you? No, no, no. I said to my wife... <laughs> I've been bribing her, Robin. I've been calling. I've been sending things. Hold it. Really? My agent calls, and yes. he goes, there's a gift here for Allison from Lisa Gibbons. It's she true. wants her on the show. I said, take the gift and throw it out. <laughs> so, does does Allison know that they're looking for her? Yes, yes. So <laughs> I, uh, so my agent said, that's wrong. Can you imagine an agent with a conscience? <laughs> Super agent Don Buckwald says to me, well, give her the gift. Yeah. Whatever. I forget what it was. Some stupid, some perfume or something. It was bath things. Bath things. Because I know that she probably, that's a, probably a very sensual <laughs> she, time for her. Oh, yeah, real sensual. She doesn't take a bath. She doesn't even bathe. I, I throw her right in the shower. <laughs> and, um... <laughs> the the so so Lisa Gibbons sent over, you know her show sent over this gift saying yeah. please do the show. Yeah. I said to my wife, look, you're not doing any Lisa Gibbons show. <laughs> I don't now want to see on that because it's embarrassing. All, it's goofy. <laughs> it's gonna be it's just gonna be sick. Does she want to do? Why would it? Why would it be sick? It just will be. I don't want her exposed. But now what about I what said, she wants? Isn't I don't it care. Her it's my, you know what. The reason that you're asking her to be honest because of me, and it's my, and I am con in control of the career stuff. When it comes to the kids, I bow in deference to her. But it's not she about the kids. She knows everything. That's right. So it's stuff with the kids, the family, even the checkbook. I let my wife handle that. Right. Stuff about my career, I handle. <laughs> but it's not about your career. I'm really interested in Allison. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not interested in having not her on. Interested in your interest? You, because, don't, mind, you uh, don't mind if I keep hounding her, do you? Uh, you can hound her all you want. I, she won't get any more of your gifts. I, in fact, I'm enjoying the bubble bath. <laughs> she doesn't even know yet. Lisa. Well, you come on with her then. Hold on, I have a lot to ask you. But I want to know what you have you worked with John Tesh again since uh, we, we still do ET together. Yeah, they do it to the, tonight. Still do the hour long show. Yeah, John hates Lisa now. Is that right? He yeah, does not. he feels that. Uh, <laughs> all right, here's what happened. We're the, we're big time pals. Yeah. Let's yeah. work up to that in a minute. All right, let's go back. Work up to that. I met you years ago. You find me attractive at all? I find you very charismatic, Howard. Really? Mm -hmm. So that means I'm ugly, but I'm sort of interesting. That doesn't mean anything about your aesthetic presentation. All right, so you're used to getting really good-looking guys. I'm married to a really good-looking guy. We would have made a nice couple, though, me and Lisa. Yeah? Yeah, you know, funny man and on-the-go reporter. <laughs> you know, it might have been like a kind of... Uh, like a little showbiz well, we couple. It could have been interesting. I could have kept you laughing. Off. And God knows what I do to you in bed. I'm sure your husband doesn't do what I do. My husband is, I can't imagine. He does everything to you? He is, we're... It, you we're, get an orgasm happy. every time you're with your husband, yes or no? Well, well, I mean, like when he's in Los Angeles and I'm here, it's probably not... No, but I'm saying when you're in the sack with him, he delivers the goods every time. How, and why if he, do you always talk about sex? No, because let's say he finishes first. <laughs> Will he then do some stuff to you or will he roll over and go to sleep i'm just not going to talk about my sex would, life with you well let me tell you i'm going to tell you about your sex life with me going to tell you I about would, my sex life i would probably finish up fast with you because you're really cute oh god i would do some really great things to you and then after i was done because you obviously hadn't achieved an orgasm i would work on you a little bit <laughs> 
What do you think of that? <gasps> well, you know, that's a real you, selling point, Maybe you're a little Howard. embarrassed, but I'm just, I'm just laying it on the line. That's what I would do. I'm I was sure she's going to leave her husband now. Yeah. <laughs> You'd make, you would make noises that would embarrass jungle animals. <laughs> All right? You would never... You, things would come out of you you never even heard before. Here's right. a topic for the talk show. No, wait. Um, women and the noises they make. Yes. We, we can book that. I would like and that. And I'd like Allison for that show. Oh, she doesn't make any noise. She, here's the noise my wife makes in bed. My knees hurt. <laughs> I have chrondomalacia of the knee. Stop. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Oh, man. Come over and hug me and give me kisses. Let me kiss those lips once, and I'll die a happy man. Whoa! What is it, Papa Booey? How dare you interrupt my important interview? No, no, I was going to say, when, when, if, maybe after you go to your next commercial, um, I know that everybody in Lisa's pool. entourage wants to meet you. Oh, really? She's got, she's Who does she got? Well, Lisa has people? She got a publicist? Sure. Really? Yeah, for the show. Her co-executive producer, as you know, Lisa is also executive producer. Big mistake. What? What's the big mistake? Did you just make yourself executive producer of your own show? Yeah. That I did, is I... a fundamental error. Why? Why? Because, first of all, if the show's a flop, mm -hmm. everyone points to Lisa like, oh, look at this one, executive producer. You know that she's too busy to really be the executive producer. Everyone sees that as an ego thing and a vanity thing. I'm hold it, hold it, listen Howard, to me. That's and not true. also, also, it's just bad because you ever watch Eddie Murphy's movies and it goes, yes. written by Eddie Murphy, directed, directed by, by Eddie Murphy, Murphy produced starring by Eddie Murphy. Uh, come on, give me a break. Listen, I executive produce all my TV shows, but I don't say I'm the executive producer. But how? I put somebody else's name what up is there. It, I, if the show goes down, I want it to go down Just having, don't my, give yourself having that credit. my input. No, you don't. You don't want I to be do. known as the failed executive and producer. And it's not true about not having time. I, I want to, I'm involved in the day-to-day, -day, a lot of the day-to-day -day But that's not making. executive producing. What no, is? You are not the executive producer. Well, let's producer. get our co-executive producer in here. No, and, then also, and then also somebody from Lee's uh, production company is here. Production oh. company? <laughs> what the don't hell? Don't go there, Howard. <laughs> what is going on? What do you mean production uh. company? What, what is the name we of it? We want to produce movies for Howard Stern. What is the name of the production company? Lee's Gibbons Enterprise. Oh, well. Mm -hmm. Now, what uh. movies are we working on? <laughs> <laughs> what are we working on? And what am I going to direct next? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Calm down. <laughs> Suddenly, Lee's is like a power brother. Yeah. Yes. Well, oh, man. Come over and hug me and give me kisses. Howard. Let me kiss those lips once, and I'll die a happy man. Howard, you are so happy with your life. You've got I'm not. everything in I'm the world. I'm unhappy. I'm unhappy right everything now. Everything in the world you've got. That's right. I don't understand. Does your husband make money? Yeah. Does he work? Yes, he does. Every day, quite hard. Really? Yeah. Because he sounds like a guy who's got a lot of hobbies. No, who's he's this actually guy? making money at those hobbies. Who's Jeff. Jeff. Jeff? What are you, Mr. Hollywood? Leslie. Look at Jeff's hair. Aren't they great? Perfect. Jeff looks like an actor. Jeff, what are you, an actor or something? No, no actor. Really? What are you? What is your job? No actor. I work for Lisa's production company. And oh, for the really? You mean you actually hire people at the production Absolutely. company? Absolutely. Uh, yeah, and what do you do there at the production company? Look at I love this. This is Nancy. And Nancy, what do you Hi, do? Howard. I'm the executive producer of Lisa's talk show. Mm -hmm. So you really do all the work, and Lisa now has to give herself a title, co-executive yeah. producer. I want to clarify this. Oh, please. Come on, Nancy, Howard. stand up for me here. Oh, Howard. my she's God. very much involved. Yeah, I, everyone's in involved in their own show. show, but she's not the executive producer. No, she is. She is not. You she's are. She's right in there. She's right Nancy, in there with me. Nancy is... Nancy absolutely runs the show. Of course. Absolutely. Lisa comes in, oh, I didn't like the lighting today, I didn't like this. It's like, a, it's a fun <laughs> thing. But she's not the executive producer. It's like me. I walk back there, I go, oh, the Chiron doesn't look right, the lighting isn't right. Fix this, Fix this, fix that. And then I walk out. <laughs> That's not exactly. Exec executive played. producing is actually knowing how to fix it. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, but, now, Nancy, were you around... She's involved in every topic. She puts her own spin on things. She, she really is involved from starting Boy, you've got some nice body on you, too, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> Yeah, Nancy is very hot. Were you around for husband number one, or you came into uh, no, Lisa's no. life? Actually, at the... I just I just joined Lisa. Oh, you did? Yeah, I was on the Vicki Lawrence show. I remember. Move. Oh, you moved for even that more. So you're the one who fired John Tesh? <laughs> John Tesh, boy. I now, John Tesh was not fired, as you know. The show oh. changed. The show right. format Lisa changed. Lisa had a, a bit of a personality. John was having trouble uh, no, no, coming no. across. No, no, no. The decision was made before I came onto the show right. that the show was best carried by Lisa Solo. Here's what I heard. I heard that John was scaring the, the guests away. <laughs> they were afraid. Oh, there's nothing scary no, about No, I know what John. happened. John hit on you. And he, you, he and hit on no, who? No, 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 no. Nancy 
hit on John, oh. and he rejected her, so I she see. fired him. I see. That's what happened. <laughs> it was one of those sexual harassment things. So do you see Connie Selica? <laughs> Nancy, do you even know John? No. You yeah. don't know him? Although and who is this? And by the way, Nancy dated Billy Idol, too. Yeah. Oh, did you? And who is that lovely blonde uh, behind... Uh, Leslie. Oh, Leslie, what do you do? This is Leslie Garson. Leslie Garson? The publicist? Boy, you got a whole entourage. Everyone has an entourage. But you. But me. Alone. Is this the best looking entourage you ever saw? Like, everyone's good looking. Yeah, I know. Well, that's the whole thing. It's out good there. to have people. You yeah, know. you have people handling have a lot, lot of, of different stuff. A lot of people. When you're an executive producer, you need a lot of people. <laughs> now, the Lisa show is on at 10 o'clock, right? Here in New York, it's on at 10 o'clock. Yeah, but you have different times around the country. Yeah. We're on the NBC network. Right. And right. the show is doing well? It's starting to do better and better. Better and yeah. better. People better are catching better. on to People the whole are... Lisa thing. That's right. Yes. That's right. You know, it takes a long time. To... Come out in a thong. I'm there every time. <laughs> <laughs> when you go to the when you go to, on vacations with your husband, do you go to hot climates? Sometimes. And you wear what? Bikinis? Can you can you fit into a bikini? Can I fit into a bikini? I'm yeah, sure you know, she can fit into one. How? How, how, how do you look? Do you take a vacation? Never. You're always taking No, but I'm saying when you go somewhere, like... can you wear a thong? Yeah. yeah. Really? You're that but, tight? But. But would I? You have I, no belly flab but hanging on. Would I wear a thong um, in public? Yeah. No. Would you wear a bikini? Yeah. Oh, I'd love to take you on a Wouldn't vacation. Wouldn't wear a thong though. We got her to wear this genie thing on the show on time. A genie thing? Here, you get her to wear a bathing suit. You yeah. wear a bathing suit. I'm there every day. You get a lot of guys tuning in. I'll quit work. <laughs> Listen, there are there are a lot of people on our staff who have uh, much better bodies than I do. So if we were doing a bathing suit show, I would let some of the 25 year olds. You've got some body. Wear the bathing. Don't put yourself down. What do you work out? Yeah, I do okay. 36, you know what? 36C? I don't go crazy. 36C? Howard, I'm not going to discuss 36, 24, 36? with you. <laughs> you seen her bra? Well, just assign, no. A, no. assign that stuff to me. I and have. You, you know, have? You've seen Lisa naked? What? She changes in front she of you. She changes in front of you? Now, let's get into that. Oh, my. All right, let's get into, some, let's get into that. Like, sometimes you're uh -oh, on the set. Oh, Nancy, be careful there. <laughs> That's what an executive uh, producer's meeting is all about. <laughs> Lisa, you ever have sex in a pool? Did I ever have sex? In a, how am I? In a body of water, have you ever had like sex? Like private stuff. No, it's not. That's it's not. Private. Everyone admits to that. <laughs> you, say, you think that's private, Robin? Yes. Oh. <laughs> that's private. You saw Lisa naked? Never uh, naked. No. What was she wearing? Like panties? Yeah. Yeah. Without a bra, though. Flips and stockings and stuff. I mean, she changes outfits a lot, Howard, between shows, when we're briefing on shows. So, like, you're doing shows, and then, like, Lisa has to switch into, like, a, like a skirt. Well, we do, we do two shows a day. Like, she might be Three wearing pants on one, one. Yeah, exactly. She changes. And then, like, you're talking to her, and it's necessary that, you you know, this rush for time, Lisa has to change. And you're another girl, so you're in there, and you're wearing, what, like a mini skirt? And <laughs> 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 and, uh, Fishnet. Nancy's wearing yeah. fishnets with the skirt. No, I'm saying you're garters. talking. <laughs> No, but you're talking. Push up bra, no, but I mean you're talking and stuff. And then what happens? Stuff. Lisa starts taking, like, just just whipping her clothes off in front of you. She's very fast at that. She's a quick change artist. And then she's down a bra and pants. And do you ever like look at her and go, "Wow, she's really got a good I'm body." I'm very. I'm usually we're focused on the script. No, but yeah. I mean, I mean, you've noticed how she looks, right? She looks great. Yeah, and then like you're I like, mean, hmm, she looks really good. Incredible. You ever consider? Oh no. Geez. But you know that's. You single or married? I'm married. Oh, you are. She has a great husband. Yeah, everyone has a great husband. <laughs> And you have a great wife. Yeah, I have a great wife. Well, We're doing a show on uh, called Flirt Alert. Yeah. On guys who say they can they can pick up women in basically ten minutes. I could do that. See, would you come on the show for Flirt Alert? All right, come over here, and I'm going to pretend to be a guy, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to flirt with you in twenty in ten minutes. Let me just see if it's flat and hard. I don't think it's a good idea. Let me idea. just right there. It's Please. flat and hard, but what's Oh, now I feel good. Can I touch your stomach? I don't Would think that be, so. I don't think that's wrong. Does anybody find that sexy? I, I don't think it's a good idea to touch my stomach. Let me just see if it's flat and hard. I don't think it's a good idea. Let me idea. just see right there. It's Please. flat and hard, but what, what's this? Oh, it is. That's yeah, very nice. <laughs> very nice. <laughs> What about your buttocks? Very oh, jeez. <laughs> you got You want him back to my No, come on. I'm trying to pick you up. I, I'm sorry. Back to my no, no, no. Hug me office. goodbye. Come over here and hug me goodbye. Come on. Hug me goodbye. Give me a hug goodbye. Come on. What's the big deal? I'll kiss it's you on not the cheek. I would love to hug you goodbye. Did I hug you when I met you at the yes. Academy Awards? Yes, you did. And I was a gentleman. Okay. I know you're a gentleman. Can I hug you? I know you? you respect me as a lady. I do respect you as a lady. I know. And you've I respect so... you as a man also. Come on. Let me, <laughs> let me hug you goodbye. Come on. Okay. Let's do this. Come on. What's the big deal? You okay. hug everybody. You're tall. Do you want um, arms under or over? You, uh, I want to go under you. You go over me and kiss me. You don't have to kiss me. I'll kiss you on your cheek. Okay. On your neck. Can I kiss you on your neck? <laughs>
No, you can't kiss me on He's my neck. still negotiating. Don't I, take your ears off him. Neck is an erogenous zone. And you can I nibble your ear? No. All right, not. okay. All right, come on. Let me, let me see what it's like to hug okay. you. Hold on. Wait, let me just soak this in. <laughs> come on, get close. Move your I hips am, against mine. I am oh, God. Oh, <laughs> Why do I feel like I'm 13? <laughs> I feel like a little schoolgirl. I'm like embarrassed. All right, I don't want to hug you. It's I'm getting a, too weird. I'm ashamed. All right, go ahead. This, it's just weird. She was like all ashamed. Yes. <laughs> anyway, Lisa Gibbons, of course, from uh, Entertainment Tonight and Tonight. the Lisa Show. Yeah, and the Lisa Show. Very attractive woman. Very attractive. Thanks, Alice. Very delightful. I can see why you're successful. Right, I'm gonna a charming lady. To you can keep trying to get Allison on. Let me talk to her about it. We'll talk see what to happens. Talk to her because, yeah. you know, we can... As the executive producer, Nancy and I yes. can, um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll come up with something that'll be right. It'll be right I for think her. the world wants to know how about Allison. Allison has a simple life. Exactly. I come home, she yells at me for a few minutes, <laughs> I run downstairs with a bowl of food, I eat, and then I go to bed. But see, that's representative of every other woman in America almost. Yeah, so who needs to hear that? But Why don't you play with a little relatable. fantasy? It's, it's ridiculous. Right. If she does your show, I'll gag her. <laughs> She'll have no idea. It'll just be ridiculous. Anyway, Lisa, gorgeous. Perfect. Thanks, Howard. Absolutely perfect. More beautiful in person than on TV. You're, it's really been nice to be here. Thanks. All right. We'll see you tomorrow.